Before we can begin making chiptunes, we'll need to gather and install the right tools. In this course, we'll be using Logic Pro X and YMCK's Magical 8-Bit Plug to compose, mix, and master our chiptunes. I chose these particular tools because these are the ones I use to make my chiptunes. There are certainly other pieces of software out there, but I'm a Logic Pro user and YMCK's plugin is free. Plus, this combination can produce great results. The first piece of software we need is a digital audio workstation or DAW. A digital audio workstation is an electronic device or computer software application for recording, editing, and producing audio files such as songs, musical pieces, human speech, or sound effects. In this course, our DAW will be Logic Pro X. It's important to note that Logic Pro X is only available for Macs, so if you're using a PC, you will need to source a different DAW. I'd also like to note that Logic Pro X is $199 US dollars on the App Store. If you don't have the money to put into Logic Pro, you can use GarageBand, which comes pre-installed on every Mac. However, there are some mixing and mastering techniques that I'll be referencing in the later videos that simply may not be available in GarageBand. Let's go ahead and install Logic Pro X. Open the App Store application. In the top right search bar, type the phrase Logic Pro X and press the Enter key. The first result should be Apple's Logic Pro X software. Go ahead and click on the software's icon. If you browse through the images and product details, you'll see that Logic Pro is essentially a studio in a box. It comes with a pre-installed library of premium VST instruments, synthesizers, and plugins for mixing and mastering. On the top left of the page, you'll find the purchase button. Of course, mine just says install because I've already purchased the program. So if you don't already have Logic, go ahead and purchase it. Once the purchase is complete, you'll see the install button here. The installation is really simple. Just click install and wait for the application to download. When it's done, Logic Pro X will be available in your applications folder. Before we open Logic Pro, let's move on to installing the plugin we'll be using to make the chiptune sounds, YMCK's Magical 8-Bit Plug. Open your browser of choice and navigate to this web address. This is the download page for YMCK's Magical 8-Bit Plug. Here, you'll find an overview of the plugin specifications and even an audio example demonstrating what the plugin can do. Also, if you've never heard of YMCK, I would definitely check them out. They're a Japanese music group that makes exclusively chiptune style pop and jazz music with vocals. Their videos are awesome as well. So, scroll down to the bottom of the page to find the download buttons. I'm using an Intel powered Mac, so I'll need the AU Universal Binary Edition of the plugin. Just click the button, choose your download location, and click Save. It's a really small program, so it should download almost instantaneously. Navigate to the file on your system and unzip the package. In the folder, you'll find a few items. A MIDI example, an audio file of the MIDI example, the plugin's logo, a few charts depicting some of the specifications of the plugin, as well as the component file. The component file is the one we'll need for Logic Pro. Let's install the plugin. Open up a new Finder window and navigate from your Macintosh hard drive to Library, Audio, Plugins, Components. Here's where you'll drop the magical 8-bit plugin component. Simply copy and paste or drag and drop the component file into this components folder. The installation of the plugin is complete. Now let's open Logic Pro and make sure we have access to the new plugin. Go ahead and launch Logic Pro. If this is your first time using the software, you may be greeted with the Sound Library Manager window. This panel allows you to install select Apple VSTs, loops, and AUs. I've had Logic Pro for quite some time, so I've already installed the packages I plan to use. If you don't want to do this now, you can always return to it later by clicking Logic Pro X, Sound Library, Open Sound Library Manager. Let's close this window for now and launch a new project. We'll go to File, New to launch our new project. 
We'll add a software instrument and choose our patch as the magical 8-bit plug. It's under AU Instruments, YMCK, Magical 8-Bit Plug, and we'll choose Mono for now. Click Create, then click on Magical 8-Bit Plug in the channel strip to open its settings. If you're seeing this, you've done everything correctly. Congratulations. I'll see you in the next video.